Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a great day today and that something else amazing happens to you later on today because you are amazing. I'm in the car right now driving to the gym with this beauty queen. Oh, yeah. And uh, I got thinking about working hard versus competing hard. Now, I want to preface this with I am not, not, not a workout guru or any kind of that. I just uh, go to the gym on a regular basis so I can stay as healthy as I can uh, and not be bulgier than I need to be. <laughs> so, um, but I got thinking about those that work hard compared to those who compete hard. You know, people can can compete hard but not be a hard worker. And here's and I've been I've been this person. Um, and somebody who's who competes hard and, and and hasn't worked hard, you can recognize them. They're usually that dad who's who's playing softball and who's diving in the home plate or first base. Uh, not on purpose, just simply because as he as he's run, he's out of shape and he's competing super, super hard, but he hasn't worked hard ahead of time. So as he's running, his body, his upper body suddenly weighs a thousand pounds and his, the gravitational pull is so hard it pulls him straight to the ground because he's running faster than his body will allow him to. And his body and head and shoulders go straight into the ground and his legs scorpion up over the back of him. And we all stand and stare and laugh. That's somebody who's who's competing hard in the moment, but hasn't worked hard in the moments, in the weeks, in the in the months ahead of time. And we can we can do that sometimes. Show up at a, at a time and compete and have a level of success and excellence. Uh, but if we haven't worked hard, chances are we're going to get running faster than 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 our body will allow us to, and do a face plant and be scorpion out there in front of everyone. Uh, so I want to encourage you. Whether it's at the gym or whether you're a volleyball player or whether you're, uh, you know, a, a casual softball player, whatever it is that you do where you're going to get in there and you're going to compete. If you're a hard worker and hard workers do work uh, behind the scenes, they do work when no one's looking. They they are the, the, the lacrosse athlete that before season starts all winter long is on the treadmill and in the gym and working on his strength and doing wall ball and doing those things. That's somebody who's a hard worker and when he gets into that or she gets into that competition moment, she's going to rise to a level above the people that are just showing up at that time to compete. And like I said, a lot of times I'm that guy that I show up, you know, once in a while and I compete in whatever area I'm competing in. And luckily God has gifted me enough where I don't, you know, scorpion very often, <laughs> but I can still do okay. And I always imagine if I, if I had done the hard work behind the scenes and before and beforehand, how high at a level could I have have competed at or continue to compete at as I go? You know what I'm saying, honey? Yes. You know? Okay, good. And so I want to encourage you in you that. And whatever it is you're doing, whether it's relationships, do the work behind the scenes. Whether it's on your job, do the work behind the scenes when no one's looking. Whether you have to give a speech or uh, write a paper, do the work behind the scenes so you can compete with excellence and max out your situation and gain as many yards as you can and compete as at a, at a high level as you can. So I hope that helps you get out there today, max out all you do. And I'm going to head to the gym now and try not to injure myself. Peace.